What size copper bonding jumper is required for 400 KC mil copper supply conductors? And the correct answer is one odd. And for this one, we're going to head to table 250.102C1. And we're going to start on the left-hand side of the table because that's going to be the makeup of our supply conductors. Are they copper or aluminum? Well, in this case, they are copper. So we're going to come over here to the copper side, and then we're going to go down until we find the range of where our number falls. And ours is 400 KC mil, so it's going to fall right here. Then we have to cross all the way across the table until we find the makeup of what conductor they're wanting for the bonding jumper. And in this case, it's a copper bonding jumper as well. So we find the copper column, we come down, and we find that it's a one ot copper conductor. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. Let's get to it.